Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Pike and Shot Campaigns, episode number 11. Probably the last big battle we're going to have. I mean, maybe they'll just, uh, if we go to another summer, I mean, go through another winter, they'll build more forces, but things should be snowballing in our favor. So, so my strategy is going to be to push the left and the right flank hard, and then um, I actually think we're going to send one lone unit over to try to route the guns. And I think that lone unit is going to be our Dragoons. Yeah. So we have seven here. We have eight here. So maybe the Dragoons here are less necessary and we can go and send them at the guns. Or maybe we'll even just send both Dragoons at the guns. I don't know. It doesn't matter yet. We just want the guns to be taken care of. So, next thing we want is, uh, just, I actually want to spread my forces apart a little bit here. Which may not make sense, but I, j I basically just want um, some veterans, uh, some horse to take up the light force, and the rest to just be charging down at the main line. Now, we want the guns to move forward. It might be easier for me to find the guns this way. Okay, there they are, very simple. So we want this position. We're gonna do a line right here. We could always move forward, but this would extend the distance between our flank, which I don't like. So we're a little bit more compact. I'd almost prefer this line, but then we give up the high ground advantage. So that's less, a little bit less satisfying. Get our guns over here and over here into position. This is going to be a supporting element, 186. So he's probably going to be the one right here. So let's get him right here. And that's exactly where I want him. We'll just push the rest of these guys forward. We can figure out a place for them all soon. Probably you're going to be there. The reserves I was going to tuck into here. So we'll just move him forward one. I don't know where this guy's supposed to go. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Reserve, non reserve. Maybe right here. Something like that. Okay, you're going to be here. The reserve is going to be on the. You're going to be. Let's see. One, two, three, four. You'll be here. Reserve here. And you will be one fanned out. Just to kind of protect. Right, you'll probably be like right here facing diagonal out. Very good. So that is gonna be my line. We'll do the same, very similar with these guys. Just move them slowly up. I think I'll just leave a gap. Okay, good. They've assumed their box formation <laughs> unintentionally. Good, has anybody not moved? No. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. See what the Russians do. Oh, they turned their guns. Oh, I didn't even see that there's light guns here. Interesting. All right, well, we escaped one turn without being shot at. That's nice. One, two, three, four. So they have a range up to here. They can go four and then uh, attack two. So we're crossing the threshold no matter what we do, basically, on this turn. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we could go here and delay one more turn. I might even do that. If they remove all the way they can, I'd probably be okay with it. Let's fan our veterans out to the right, I think. 
Unarmored, uh, let's tuck you on the outside. Veteran, you guys don't go too far. One, two, three, four, one, two. So most I want you to move is actually here. And get the other unarmored to move. Well, let's have them move to the outside so we kind of have each one in their own lane. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we'll do right here. I think this horse might be just kind of sacrificed. So one, two, three, four. I think we'll just do this. And then this veteran horse is going to be probably moving off that way just to route some people and then get around them and face the second line. I don't know, it's dangerous to do that, but we'll see what happens. Good. Okay, yeah, it's a whole new turn, so we can actually do this. Shoot him. Okay, good, two damage. You know, that's 2% of their force. <laughs> Four. Can we attack this guy from here? So I think we move forward like this. Can't turn. Oh well. He did zero damage. Damn it. I mean, my goal was his medium guns at first, but this will probably trigger a response. I imagine that they will not be happy to just take this. One, two, three, four. One, two. So let's move right here. We'll call our line right here. We'll line up the veterans in the middle. And we'll get the unarmored. Okay, this is a veteran unarmored, so they'll be a little bit cautious. Veteran unarmored, so you'll move all the way over, I guess. And tuck back in. But the this unarmored, I think... This line is blocked already, so I, I'd actually prefer they go this way. We'll see what they have a chance to get themselves into. Okay, now this should be straightforward. I already kind of planned this, right? Something like this. Uh, I'll keep this guy up because this flank is so close to me, I might just push these guys up in a line. Yeah, probably I will do that, in fact. But for now, I'll leave it, because that will box the reserves out. On this side, I don't think I'll be doing that. Have them face forward. You move forward. Um, and then, what do we have? The, the line just start down here. I don't think there'll be a whole lot of charges here. It's probably more important to get... Uh, I don't know, though. We could just react to them. What I'm saying is, if they push up here... We probably we are better off supporting in a line than trying to hold the hilltop because they won't be charging. They're just going to exchange fire. Yeah, I'm almost sure about this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this preemptively. And I guess like this. And we'll get this guy to move here, this guy to move here. So we'll just form our line there. Good. Uh, they are not the ones who like to charge anyways. I, I Okay, so I kind of messed up the strategy. We, we can't hold the hill here, but if I had held the hill, it would have been much better for me to hold it one back. I might even move this guy back, move all these guys back once we are a perfect line. Because they don't charge. Their units almost never charge. They sit and they engage in long-range fire. And if I want to play that game with them, it's much better for me to have just a perfect line. So I think we'll do that on the next turn. This is a... Some ad hoc strategizing here. <laughs> so we're set on the right. We're pushing forward on the left. The left will make contact first. The Dragoons are out skirmishing, as they should do. Though they didn't really do a good job. I feel like the light guns, they got zero damage done, and they're probably going to take some more hits. 67, that's probably why. But everyone has moved, so end the turn. Okay, zero to zero. It's a fair trade. And they are moving out. I think this guy is just going to get pummeled to death. 
He's in range to, of nearly all these guys. Okay. The best thing I did with my Dragoons was one time when I had them loop around behind the enemy lines and then just nobody wanted to engage them. That was really the best thing I ever did. So we really got to do that again. I gotta get my Dragoons out of there and just run them around. This poor group right here. My god, they're taking a lot of fire. But that's what their job is, to absorb the first wave of fire. And we'll be charging with the other groups. And this is perfect, because they should be just out of range. But we did trigger their, their advance, that's for sure. Okay, these guys are advancing and doing damage. But not too bad, not too bad for as long range. They were able to get close enough. They Okay, that's still a lot of damage, but... This is where it's going to hurt, I feel like. Ouch. 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 Owie. Ouch. They're, they're going to auto-break soon. The one's on the right. All right, so first order of business. Got to wait. We could break them on. Okay, this is basically sacrificing their my force for theirs. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get these guys out of here if possible. Get over there. At least it was long range. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead, move here. Just get out of there, basically. And they'll have to run away. We will be. Um, Falling back. Nobody's close enough, so this should not be a cohesion test. Okay, good. And get you to go here. Get you to go here. You also fall back. No, actually, we want you to turn. I want these guys to actually shoot up the, the sides. I want them to shoot up the sides. Probably could have had this guy squeeze out this way. Instead of moving him back, I could have moved him forward and to the left. I should have done that, but that's okay. We did not, no use crying over spilled milk. Oh, we will, should definitely win this one. Yes. We lose this one in the long term. Okay. We win this one just in every conceivable manner. <laughs> Gonna do that right away. Oh, one sec. All right, so this was a slight victory for us, as we expected. We actually expected it slightly better than that, but overall, I'm sure that, I mean, eventually at some point they will crack. We have almost a two to one melee advantage over them. I'm actually really surprised that the advantage wasn't, I mean, that our, uh, the results weren't better. But that's okay. Now, we do have to watch out for the cavalry who do shoot at distance. Um, so one, we just want to make sure that we're not just exactly two away from them, because then they don't have to move, and they can shoot, and that's not good. This is the one which we don't necessarily win completely. And getting our unarmored horse there, who can beat them, will lose overall actually in the end as well. But not, it's 816, this one is 1120. Interesting. I guess the rounding, I mean, we're noticing that there's rounding uh, obviously going on here since this is 975 and 16. No, that, that, was, that was fine. Is this one? Wait, did I look at the wrong thing? Is this changing every time I look at it? Well, look at this one. Win 49, draw 50, lose 2. So one of those is obviously... Well, two of those are obviously rounded. So... Um, we can charge these guys, and we have a great chance to just obliterate them. They won't, it won't be able to be flanked, and that gets our unarmored ones into combat quickly, which is good. Though that was a little bit less effective than I was hoping can't quite reach these cavalry. 
186 to 85. I'm, I'm a little surprised these are not going as well as I was. Really not going as well as I was hoping. Now, if the Tatars retreat, do we like, continue to chain attack? Do we attack the next one after that? I don't want my um, veterans bogged down here, but this is like a nice easy way to route these guys off the field. Good. Oh, we, we almost did it there. Should we get the Cossacks off the field as well? Probably. Interesting that they did not, in fact, turn and charge this unit. Well, at this point, we are committed. We do need to run forward and take this guy out of the equation. We don't want him to flank charge him. So we will have to, unfortunately, move up and, yeah, take our damage. But we need to do that because if we didn't, um, it's possible for this guy to turn and charge that guy. Now he has a priority charge target, I believe. I don't know how that works exactly. Kind of unfortunate. The Dragoons have ended up in a place where I'm not even sure we win that fight. <laughs> even though these guys are veterans. And I don't want my veterans running out chasing light, but just the way it turned out to be. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's get this guy one more up since we did do all that. Might as well. Yeah, and this is the good question. I think we move this guy here. Look, turn him diagonal. Maybe don't even turn him diagonal. Just here. He won't be. He won't. It gives us the option to go whichever way we want next turn. Because this guy probably can beat. Yeah, this guy probably can beat the Arcusiers. I don't know if these guys can. Actually, this is a tough situation because if we wait, the Arcusiers get off their their um, carbine shots, which is not good. Unfortunately. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Let's just hope that for once, I mean, I say for once, but just knock on, wood, uh, knock on wood, luck be a lady tonight. Give me a good disruption in the first round. No. <laughs> We're slightly advantaged and we actually lost the first round. That is not what I was looking forward to. Oh well, we win some, you lose some, and you only remember the ones you lose very naturally. Okay, now here we go. We can Cossacks into the... That's probably the chain of events that I want to happen. Are they going to turn? Now obviously at this point we're committed to pushing down the le with the left. Somebody's got to get to this guy. At least we won't take any fire from those guys. And now, yeah, obviously we have to do this. We have to push in here. Which means that we're going to be subject to a lot of enemy fire on this turn. The veteran unarmored. We'd rather the unarmored take the damage. So let's do this. Probably hold this unit somewhat in reserve, like so. So let the horse with the armor take the, the brunt of it. Get the veterans over here. And veteran, get to just run these guys up the flank. Good. So most of our units have moved. Some of them have not. The only mistake we made, I would say, is the reserve should have gone forward and to the left. We didn't do that. They could have helped out with these light units. I don't know. They could have done something. Much more than they're going to do sitting in the back waiting for a break in the lines or whatever. So, so that said, I guess we'll end the turn. They'll break for sure. There it is. It was a, a, I don't understand why um, people are able to get shots in after, I, what? Oh, okay, that's fine. So they are advantaged, but we actually did take this victory, that's nice. I mean, it was undecided, don't get me wrong. They're disadvantaged, we went even. They're slightly disadvantaged, we went even. Well, no, that's still our way somewhere. 
They fired very quickly, and we're in place to charge the cavalry next turn. Which we will do. We can finally get somebody through to the, <laughs> the medium guns, even. Yeah, and the dragoons can move out to the left, which is excellent. Definitely what I wanted. Ouch. Knew that would happen. But that charge is going to happen now. It doesn't matter which one happens first. Just probably this one would be the best. Lock down more people that way. Horses are going to survive. That's good to see. They probably already passed their um, test, whatever test it is. So this is the way things go, right? Their cavalry gets a chance to shoot at us first, but then after that... Mmm, that's not good. But after that, we get a chance to actually attack them. And we should win those attacks. Please say that's all of the gunfire that we're going to come under. Or, ouch. A slight win for a slight advantage. Okay, we are slightly advantaged, but we had a slight loss. Oh god. Ah, well, at least they fra they fell back. Interesting. So we're going to do this. Good, that was very good. That locks this unit in as well. Uh, this is where I really wish I had this unit already here, but oh well. I think we still charge this guy to knock him off. Oh, we actually did it. Okay, well, fantastic. That means he can't be attacked by this t t the Tatars anymore. I mean, he can, but only in melee. And I think we win that. Get these Dragoons out of here. They will be the ones to shoot at the Arquebusiers. I don't know what these guys can do. Really nothing. They're stuck there. Zero action points. So I guess if you fall back, you use your action points for the next round, doing so. Okay, we can not attack this one because charge target, right? Nope, not close enough. Okay. Interesting. So I have to worry about a flank attack from this guy. If I went forward here, I'd probably get around to my flank eventually. Now, we have to begin attacking these guys, though. How do we want this to happen? Alright, this is just a clear victory. It's going to happen quickly. What's more? There he went directly to Fragmented. We do win this one overall. Okay, good. Do that charge. I have to do it anyway. Okay, you can charge here. Can you charge here? Not priority target. Ah, I see. Not close enough. Kind of unfortunate. Well, let's get this guy involved. That went extremely well. Now, what we could do is also second charge this guy, which will lead to the chain of routes, which is always good. I think that's what we're going to do. Technically, we lose this one overall. Which is yeah because this is kind of a weak unarmored horse but given the damage this unit already took we have a chance of winning yeah let's just do it we were greatly advantaged but we only did four to five well that's a little bit <laughs> unfortunate so i think i want to keep this guy here actually where he is because he's not close enough to be shot by the cavalry or the guns or the carbines um, it'll force them to act first, and then I can kind of hold him back. I would, I mean, he is veteran, but you want to get him in there as quickly as possible. But I, at the same time, you also want to make sure you don't cheaply throw away elite veteran units. <laughs> so, okay, so let's do this charge here. And... Probably something like this, like so. Just wait. I don't want to be two away. I'd rather be three away, and we can get in there next turn. Okay, that's my. That's what's happening on the 
on that side. Let this guy continue to move him. Ooh, is it just infantry? Nope, I saw somebody over here. Ah, yes, you can finally engage. And by this point, you now lose the conflict, which is not good. But I don't think there's any choice. You can't just sit there and take damage, so. Got very, very lucky on the charge. Actually, we're expected to win the charge, but. Who the hell is my priority chase target? My god. So it won't let me charge them immediately, but I think it'll let them charge me if I do this. Ouch. God, who the hell is my priority chase target? <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> They're disrupted. And that saves, that's perfect actually. I would, out of all three, I would have preferred to attack him first because that's the one who is going to be, uh, I, I'm, if I get that angle, I can't be flanked. That's very good. Ah, you also can do this. This will route them, which will cause a chain. Let's do that. Let's just route this guy immediately. Oh, we got this guy. Oh, that's even better. And we charge this guy. I'm very happy about that. Fragmented. Okay, they didn't win. I mean, we didn't... We won, but we didn't disrupt them. But that's still perfect. That was quite good. Does that change the way things are going to go? So these guys haven't moved, but they can't really do anything. So yeah, we only have these horse left. Should I move in? How many units here have been attacked? Just these two? These as well. Nope, I want to stay where I am. I'm very stubbornly going to stay here. Okay, so we end the turn. That was a very good turn for us, I think. Okay, we're on even terms. Good. Wait, no, no, no. I thought we were supposed to win that one. Yeah, plus 40. And modifier and enemy unit strength. Ah, uh, no. No good. So it is even. I can't believe we got that one. That was amazing. And they broke as well. Very good. This should just be a massacre. There are ev even terms? Huh. Because combat strength. Okay. So they're, they are bigger sized. Wow, we actually lost that one. That's... Mm, well, we had the, the intelligence to fall back. And we're going to win those charges. Okay, they're disadvantaged, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't even. We, wait, they're disadvantaged, but we actually kind of lost it. All right, hopefully that goes our way better next time. I know we're going to win this. Okay, they are disrupted. That's good. They're still holding on. Oh, they are already disrupted. Very good. They're slightly disadvantaged, but they went even. This one's a, a route, I think. That's my veteran horse. All the veteran horses here are just, yeah, yeah, they don't have their equal on the field. Massively disadvantaged, we won. They did not get any worse. So they're holding. A lot of their units are holding. This is good to see that we're starting to fire at their units. Our Dragoons are right. The 2% is our... The one pack of 67 Dragoons was 2%. It's kind of insane. We routed several of their forces, but they're only at 5%. So they decided to do that. That was not a good decision. They did move forward, so that's obvious. My next, my next course of action is quite obvious. Hmm, they do have some reserve cavalry. I didn't know that. Whoa! Holy cow! So they did quite well there against our veteran horse. It's just insane to me. I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> we were um, also kind of broken up though because we were in the, in the city fighting. 
Okay, we disrupted one of theirs. That's a good start. They basically bypassed us. We disrupted. Important one. We held, even though we are advantaged. Uh, eh, it's about... It's even. We'll call it even. Okay, we are advantaged. They did not... Even though we won, they did not suffer morale loss. This should be an over. Whoa! 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 That's actually huge. These guys have not lost any strength yet? I guess they're not even disrupted yet. Huh. Massively advantaged, but uh, it just went even. Actually, we lost it in numbers. Okay, slightly disadvantaged, but we won it, so, you yeah. know, luck. Knows no favorites. Equal terms, equal losses, makes sense. They are advantaged, but we did not... We're not successful there. Okay, we are disadvantaged, but we went better. And that's just, so this is just the silliest thing I've ever seen. Our veteran horse units are being beaten by two light cows. And they actually broke. It's just, uh, uh, I can't really fathom this. <laughs> They're killing elite, elite soldiers. Ugh. All right, well, I think we do this. It's a sure victory. Oh my God, please. please be a sure victory. And we're gonna lose that one. I think we move here and then just try to charge this unit because we can actually beat them. We can't beat these guys. I don't know if they're allowed to turn. If they're allowed to turn, they can't. I don't think they can charge me directly though. They have to turn and then charge. We'll find out, I don't know. Okay, well I should have shot them first, but now we can still start shooting musketeers. Okay, they're disrupted. I'm not gonna shoot them again if they're disrupted. Move on to the next. Good. This guy's already disrupted. Good. Okay, turn and face. Go here. Dragoons, where are you needed? Against these Cossacks. Yeah, we can hit them from here. Let's just fire at a distance. Bring up our uh, reserve pike to deal with them. Yeah, this is kind of strange. I know I'm not going to be able to catch these guys, but eventually I can route them all the way back to the point. Like, can we, we can get these guys. Uh, it's a shame to waste such good troops just driving these guys off the field, but I don't know any, I don't know any other way to deal with these guys. So just keep doing this silly chase. All right, now you can't charge, you can't really do anything. What we want you to do is just fall back. Actually, you know what? You're just gonna sit there and rally. <laughs> Hopefully you rally, that's the idea, but. Oh yeah, yeah he's, not, he's not gonna rally though if he doesn't, we gotta move him out of the way. Oh, we only have one that hasn't moved. Oh, well, that's that's good. Um, I think we move forward here and actually turn. Oh, actually, we don't need to turn. We'll just fire here. Very good. So we can do some damage. Something. We can do something. Now we'll do our turn so that we can face, you know, the oncoming mount. Just pocket them. I didn't expect to pocket them because they outnumbered me, but if we can, hey, I'll take advantage of it. Good, so nobody, everyone's done moving. Let's continue. In fact, this episode's gone on quite long. We're going to have to break it up here, so after this episode, I mean, after this turn, we'll have to call this video to a close. Still even. I thought we'd win the left so convincingly. 
I thought we win the right so soon. Uh, there's a disadvantage, but they actually are eking out a victory. It's unfortunate. That's a strange one. They are slightly disadvantaged, but they... I mean, we're slightly disadvantaged. Okay, so massively disadvantaged, but just breaking. Just going even. Okay, that's what I expected. Hopefully that will cause some chain morale drops. I was really expecting the chain morale drops. They're slightly disadvantaged. We're just... Very slow. Oh my gosh! They were slightly disadvantaged, but we disrupted. That's, see, that, that kind of thing can just throw everything into the, in the grinder. They finally disrupted. That was the third or fourth time in a row that they'd lost. Wish those side guys wouldn't fire. And they're disrupted. How are they doing so much damage when they're freaking disrupted? We will charge, of course. Disrupted units makes, only makes sense to charge. Damn. We're going in. Okay, fragmented them, that's good. Uh-oh. That is really not good. <laughs> Here we go. Residual shooting, hopefully we advantage here. Okay, finally broke them, that's good. Broke them, that's good. Hopefully that has some disruption on the lines. Fragmented dispersed, okay good. That was huge. So the right is clearly won. Damn it! What? We were supposed to win that! Ay, 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 ay. Can't chase them, but those that did ra that did um, cause the kind of chain panic that I was hoping would happen. Huh. We were also expected to win that one. I don't know. We're not getting too lucky. Uh, I don't think we're getting particularly unlucky, but a few key units have disrupted that, like my... Uh, the elite cavalry on the far left, that was just really sad that they lost the Dragoons. Oh, I actually threw them away into the Dragoons. But how did they disrupt? I forgot how they disrupted from, like, gunfire, right? Or bows, whatever. When we're disadvantaged here, why are we disadvantaged? Strength modifier, okay. Yeah. So this is what happens. When you fight with two other units, I guess it does give a modifier to their enemy. So they... They do, fighting on multiple fronts does give you this strength modifier. Okay, good to know. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's not good. Here's our beautiful elite horses. All right, so we'll call this video to a close here, but, uh, hmm. Lots of interesting decisions. We'll definitely be charging these guys, but how to go about it, I don't know. Okay, well, thanks for watching this one, and come back for the second part, probably the conclusion, of this really large battle that I don't know if the... Basically, I think the planning and the strategy... It's all done now. We just start smashing two units together. Not a whole lot of tactics left. We are in some trouble. My god. You don't have any action points? Oh, you fell back. Huh. 
You were about to get charged from the rear. I don't know. We'll figure all this out in the next episode. So, <laughs> like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you for the next one. Until then, take care.